standing on the balcony of a stranger's flat, watching the fireworks 32 miles from home, drinking Bacardi mixed with ginger beer, won't be right 2021. It won't be right 2020, 2019, the Saturdays I spent drinking as if the alcohol in my body held more value than saving for a future where I don't have to check my bank account after spending three pound on the Tesco mail deal. Hoping the one pound fifty on the water meter will last longer than a day. I have scraped and scraped out of debt on days when my overdraft was almost a third of my income almost three years after graduating with a degree I can't get a job with. And I, I'm tired of pretending I'm not struggling. I'm tired of pretending that you have to be diagnosed with depression or anxiety to, to, to know what it means to feel worthless. To bear scars so deep that with every step I take, my heart finds new ways, new excuses to stop beating. To bear, to drink until I can't feel anything. Until every word on this damn page reads more like a suicide note than a poem. Upon completing this poem it is the 27th of January 2022. And I have been sober for 27 days and six months. And, and six, and, and six, and six, six days. And I tell my friends, I don't miss the drink, but the truth is I do. I miss the drink, but I also know that I refuse to become another statistic between alcoholism and my autism, you see. I don't need you to tell me everything will be okay. I don't need you to tell me that this, that everything that's happened, happened for a reason. Because I will take the shattered remains of everything that you have chosen to take from me and build a new life. And I promise you, oh yes, I promise you, it will be beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs>